Governor Ducey also working on a desalinization deal to turn salt water into drinkable water for Arizona. The ABC 15 investigators are getting a tour of a desalination plant already located in our state, a plant that can filter 73 million gallons of water a day. That's the equivalent of 10 gallons for every Arizona resident. Yeah, but the plant has barely been used. And as ABC 15 investigator Courtney Holmes found out, may also be useless in our current water crisis. By volume, this is one of the largest desalination plants in the United States. This is part of the pretreatment process. For the Mike United Norris with the U.S. Bureau of Reclamation has been here from the beginning. We've got to remove all the solids. He runs the agency's Yuma office. A large part of those duties include getting Colorado River water to Arizona, California, and Mexico. We have to ensure water deliveries, but we also have to really watch the salinity. Now, this plant's sole purpose is to remove salt from water. So why in its 30-year existence has it only been used twice? For that answer, we'll have to go back to 1944, when a U.S. treaty with Mexico dictated that country is entitled to 1.5 million acre feet of Colorado River water, since that's where the river actually ends. Over the years, as agriculture increased in the Yuma area, so did overly salty return flows, which would go back into the river and be delivered to Mexico. By the 1960s, Mexico said, time out, United States. We should have the same quality of water as you have in the U.S. to do agriculture and utilize. This plant was supposed to be part of the solution. If the U.S. could not meet its obligation, the plant would make up the difference and deliver clean water to Mexico. Construction began in 1977 at a cost of $250 million. It'd probably be around a billion dollars in today's dollars. During the 15 years that the plant was under construction, the salty water needed somewhere to go other than the river. This canal was extended to divert that unusable water away from the Colorado River into Mexico and accidentally created this. Cienega de Santa Clara, a 15,000 acre foot wetland. By 1992, when the Yuma plant was completed, it wasn't needed due to surplus river flows. Congress cut the budget. Just to maintain the plant and what we call a caretaker ready reserve status, and that's what we continue today. Since then, it's run twice, a three-month demonstration in 2007 and a pilot run in 2011 funded by Central Arizona Project with California and Nevada water agencies. As the current drought drags on, could this dormant desalination plant finally be put to use? Norris says there are some big challenges to overcome, from the age of this technology to cost. It's approximately $40 million on an annual basis just to operate it. And that's not including the 130 plus million dollars to get the plant up to operational status. Then there's that saltwater cienega. Mexico has declared it a protected area, home to endangered sea life and migratory birds. Restarting the plant could damage that. You want, want to explore all other options before you start looking at possibly impacting a wetland in Mexico. And so this multi-million dollar plant sits idle as it has for the past 30 years, waiting for a day that may never come. In Yuma, Courtney Holmes, ABC 15, Arizona.